20 years ago, Kentuckyana was still in a state of recovery with tens of thousands of people trying to rebuild after losing everything in the flood of 97. Tonight in the vault, we revisit the flood, a true tragedy in Kentuckyana history. It was March 1997, and the Ohio River was rising about a half foot every hour. In some areas, it was the worst flooding since the Great Flood of 1937. The water just kept rising. The view is just as incredible from up here. Take a look at this vantage point of River Road. There's the stop sign, and under all that water somewhere is River Road. On top is floating a virtual garbage dump. The swollen Ohio River spilling over into surrounding communities. Thousands of homes are barely peeking out of the foul brown flood water. Pretty nasty out here. Tens of thousands were evacuated. Their saviors came in heavy duty trucks used as shuttles. Interstate 64 and 65 shut down as drivers became castaways, stranded until the National Guard came to the rescue. Here we were, water was in back of us, water was in front of us, we had no way to get out. It was truly one of the um, most horrific tragedies that this city certainly has seen. Steve Duncan has been an assignment editor at WHAS 11 for 36 years. He's worked through a lot of demanding news events. The flood of 97, he hopes to never relive. You couldn't get out enough information to people, and it was truly life and death type of information. Um, it wasn't just reporting and, and people listening and watching uh, for casual information. They were looking for information that was going to get them through that day, whether or not they were going to be able to get to their houses or not. And, whether they were going to have electricity, um, where they could go for food and um, place to sleep, clothing. It was truly a remarkable response and uh, one of the proudest moments of my career, um, just how we um, covered this tragedy and informed people um, on, on a true disaster. Working around the clock, broadcasting for hours at a time, WHAS delivered life-saving information to a community fighting disaster, capturing heartbreak, relief, and the unimaginable. One of the most iconic pieces of video or incidents that happened was there was a house in the south end that caught on fire, but it was completely surrounded by water. The only thing that was visible was the roof of the house. This house was totally engulfed in flames, fire department could, could not get to it, and it was in the middle of what looked like a sea. And it was just, uh, it was just uh, sites like that that, uh, that came up every day that just demanded our attention, and um, they were seen all over the world. When the water finally receded, it left behind $400 million worth of damage. In the Louisville Metro alone, 50,000 homes were affected. It is a tragedy Kentuckiana will never forget. And in the Louisville Metro alone, there was $200 million in damage when those floodwaters receded.